In this video, we're gonna talk about the long history of fecal microbiota transplantation, or FMT. If you don't know what FMT is, check out our last video. In a nutshell, FMT is the procedure of taking a healthy gut microbiome from a donor and applying it to somebody who has an unhealthy gut with the goal of, well, making it healthy again. So today, let's dive into it. How long have people been using poop, well, a good donor microbiome, to really tackle disease. In the last 10 years, FMT has gained more popularity in the research with an ever-growing list of diseases associated with an altered gut microbiome, ranging from irritable bowel disease to neuropsychiatric-related conditions like autism spectrum disorder and Parkinson's disease. FMT isn't anything new. It's been around for 1700 years in some way, shape, or another. But in the last 10 to 20 years, there has been increased scientific and clinical research into understanding if modifying the gut microbiome using FMT could help overall health and tackle many areas of unmet medical need. The promising outcomes of using FMT to treat C. diff has actually kind of led to this expansion of research looking at FMT can be used as a treatment for many gastrointestinal and non-gastrointestinal disorders. Yet, FMT research is kind of still in its infancy and we don't actually even know how and why FMT works, but I think it's really important to understand, well, where FMT came from. So let's dive into the history. The idea behind FMT actually comes from fourth century China, 1700 years ago, with FMT actually being called yellow soup and being used to treat severe diarrhea. During World War II, German soldiers actually used the stool or poop from camels to help treat bacterial dysentery when antibiotics weren't available in the field and was actually shown to be really efficient and a great treatment option. In 1959, Dr. Ben Elsman published his results of the use of FMT through fecal enemas to treat antibiotic-associated diarrhea, which actually was most likely C. diff. In 1988, Dr. Thomas Brody published his series of case studies looking at the use of FMT in non-infectious diseases such as irritable bowel disease. In the early 2010s, there was an increased use of FMT to treat recurrent C. diff, with initial studies showing a cure rate of about 90%. Actually, FMT had been slowly growing in popularity since the early 2000s as a treatment for C. diff. As we move out of the 2010s, we get to an area of research that's extremely exciting. The use of FMT to treat autism spectrum disorder, specifically GI symptoms. In 2017, Dr. James Adam published his first groundbreaking study looking at the use of FMT in children with autism spectrum disorder. These encouraging results included a 77% reduction in GI symptoms, a 23% reduction in autism-related behaviors, as well as a shift in the gut microbiome to be more well, more similar to typically developing pairs. In 2019, Dr. James Adams Group published their two-year follow-up study. This looked at the same children from the 2017 study and looked at the impacts of FMT long-term. These results were extremely exciting. They actually saw that GI symptoms were maintained over a two-year period. In addition, they showed that autism-related symptoms continued to improve, showing a 47% improvement versus their initial 23% improvement eight weeks after treatment. So where does Novel Biome come in? Well, in 2020, we established our state-of-the-art FMT manufacturing lab, and we started exporting FMT products to FMT treatment centers. FMT has been around for a long time, and as research continues to grow into this important treatment, we understand more and more about its wide-reaching impacts, and I think it also helps us understand the importance of the gut microbiome. And my hope is that as we learn more about how the gut microbiome impacts our health and disease, we'll start to lean more into how a lot of diseases might start in the gut. If you like this video, check out our next video about how FMT can be performed and how FMT is moving into pill form. Yes, you heard me right. Poop pills are the future. Well, actually they're already being utilized. Also, if you wanna know where all this information came from or read more about it, there's a link in the description to our blog.